Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, my, uh, you know, my heart is uh, is is aching for the loss of uh, Yogi. He was a special person to me and my family. Uh, not only was he my first manager, but uh, we became pretty close friends over the years. Uh, uh, I attended his golf tournament a lot of times, and then he turned around and attended mine. We we had kind of a mutual thing there to where we both uh, would play in each other's golf tournament. But I got to know Yogi pretty well, um, you know, I think in recent years, uh, primarily when uh, when I went to spring training and he was – he was there uh, pretty much daily, and uh, you know we had some good discussions on things that had happened in the past. But one of the things that we never brought up was, uh, you know, his his being fired after the 1964 season, or or the reason for it, and that sort of thing. So it's always remained a mystery for me. Mel, if we do flash back to 1964, before the dismissal, what was he like to pitch for? That was your rookie season. It's your first taste of the major leagues. What was it like to have Yogi as your manager? Well, I thought he was great. He was great to me. I, I know when I first joined the ball club, he called me in his office, and and he, he um, for some reason or other, he, he brought Elston Howard, who was going to be my catcher, he brought him in with him, and both of them reassured that all I needed to do to be successful was to pitch like I had been pitching, and that really meant a lot to me. But he, he wasn't big on meetings and uh, that sort of thing. His conversations were short, but uh, as far as uh, his job managing, I thought he'd done a super job. Yeah, Mel, David Cohn here. It's great to talk to you. Thanks again for coming on. And, uh, hey, Tony. It was a great ceremony at Monument Park to see you honored this year. Uh, a fantastic day. You know, Mel, you were always one of the most upbeat and positive coaches I've ever been around. And a lot of people in today's game uh, with the new school are having a hard time quantifying chemistry. What does that mean, team chemistry? I thought you were a big part of our team chemistry. I know Yogi was, too. And can you talk a little bit about that back in not only your experiences with, with Yogi as a player and him as a manager, but how important that is just to keep guys loose and the clubhouse well you know I, I learned at a very early age I think when I first joined the ball club I was just 22 but I, I, I observed how the older uh, players were with the young players and how they uh, communicated and how they pulled for one another and that sort of thing a lot of times it, it seems strange to me because I, I would see uh, perhaps maybe I'd see Tony Kubek in spring training working with the young shortstops out there, and I, I thought, geez, you know, he's helping them uh, eventually going to take his job. But that was the attitude that uh, the Yankees had, and it, I think it spilled over uh, to me uh, into my coaching uh, thoughts. And I've always been a very positive guy, and I, I've thought that uh, you could there, – there's times I think you have to, you know, um, kick him in the butt, but most of the time it was more like a, you know, a pat on the shoulder or something like that, encouragement on what they were doing right as opposed to what they were doing wrong. Mel, final question. One of the things on the Yankee schedule every year that is so big is Old Timers Day. You're a big part of that. So is Yogi. It's a connection from the present to the past. Can you talk about what that means and every year making that pil pilgrimage back and having spent time around Yogi? Well, you know, I can recall back as a player how much I enjoyed the, seeing the old timers come to uh, to the ballpark and play their little three inning game, and and it was so nice to hear the stories and that sort of thing and how they related to one another, and uh, you know that was uh, something that really carried it has carried on. I think the Yankee tradition, uh, as far as old timers game, is just uh, absolutely super, and just. Uh, just a note uh, to tell you how how thrilled I was this year at at the Old Timers game and getting uh, presented a plaque for center field. It, it was beyond any of my dreams that I've ever had, uh, but it was uh, it's something I still you know have a hard time believing happened. But it was such a surprise for me, and it was so great for my family, um, you know, and, and the Yankee family to um, to, to honor me.